like a lot of people just skip this in 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 life they're they're not willing to to pay the price of hard work not for what it gets you but from who you become and when you become the person who worked hard there all the while learning and growing internally you become a different person and that person is the one that deserves yep and that will get whatever your hopes and dreams are What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Sales Wolves podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Harris. Joseph Caldwell. And we are the Sales Wolves. Ow. I like that. We may have to change that. You want to change it? Change what? The how. Like the intonation of it? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> the gender of the, the, ge- of the wolf? Of the wolf. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, man. This is episode 120 of the Sales Wolves podcast. And uh, we wanted to take this one and make it real simple. Real simple. Real simple. Well, yeah, real simple, but not real easy. No, yeah. You know, the self-help industry is what? It's probably a multi-billion dollar industry, you think? Gigantic. It's enormous. Um, Because I think that everybody... Everybody knows they want to get better and they want better results. And so I think the reason the self-help industry is so big is because I, I've done it before where I wanted the secret or the mm-hmm. magic bullet, the shortcut. the shortcut. Um, and, and I don't think that people understand that it's a journey, mm-hmm. right? And, and I'm certainly not slamming the self-help industry because I've utilize it all the time oh, yeah. for personal growth but i don't think people understand that the journey of self-improvement is on the road of work mm-hmm. it's on the road of effort mm-hmm. and um man this is a this is a simple one it's it's what, what would we entitle what would we title this if we I would say just do something just do something. <laughs> Just do something. Just do something. <laughs> I could say it all. Just do something. Do something. Just do something. Something. <laughs> right? Just do something. Something. <laughs> Just do something. <laughs> I mean, we could probably say it a thousand yeah. different ways on here, yeah. and and you know, a lot of times people people go, "Well, I am doing something. I'm 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 doing this." Well, change your perspective. You know, it may, mm-hmm. you may need a perspective shift on, on and audit your actual work, mm-hmm. audit your actual effort, um, and see if that effort is matching up with where you want to go. Like one of the things that I had to do, because I grew up, um, I grew up on the poor side, and a lot of times on that side, you learn to blame the things out here Mm -hmm. um, for where you are. And so when I started the self-improvement, you know, with myself, you know, it wasn't a, it wasn't a work thing. I thought, well, I just need the information in my head and it'll change things. Mm -hmm. Well, unless you are doing something, then there's nowhere to apply that to actually learn it for yourself. Yeah. You know, it's 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 one thing to read about something, right? And and if you read about something, you learn a little bit. Mm-hmm. Like, like you know, I, I uh, take soccer, or take take football, or take wrestling. Mm-hmm. You could read every move, you could learn every move mentally, but do you really know how to wrestle? Not until you do it. And so the something, the doing of something while you're growing personally or learning the information gives you it lays it literally is the path to who you want to be yeah does that make sense yeah it's like the education without application right yes or information without application i've met a lot of educated derelicts Mm -hmm. (laughs) oh yeah and i've met some people who you or i or somebody else may would call uneducated Mm mm-hmm that are 
wealthy beyond belief mm-hmm. and that are engaged and, and growing and and happy. Yeah. And, you know, I think a lot of times people, it's kind of like, you know, smoke before fire, right? Mm-hmm. It's like, you know, I, I need to, I need to grow myself. I need to, I need to learn. And, and then, you know, I'll be ready to go and do. Hmm. But the reality is it's in the process of doing and learning that you're ultimately going to get to where you want to go because it's that constant evaluation. Like you do something, you learn, you do something a little better, you learn, you do something a little better, you learn. It's not learn, 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 and then do at a high level. No, it's never. A, it's constantly, a, it's constantly a process. And, and, you know, I know, I know so many people that, Man, they wrote every book. Mm-hmm. They're on every, you know, podcast. They're, you know, watching every video, and they yeah. can tell you about all the amazing things other people are doing. Yeah. <laughs> that learn those same things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> and then you look at their lives, and I'm like, man, you're not doing anything. Yeah. You're you're learning a lot, but. You know what are you actually doing and i think a lot of this and maybe a good way to um a good place to take this is a lot of it is people are waiting for the opportunity Mm -hmm. they're waiting on you know the career path or the opportunity that they were born to do and i've just come to understand that the opportunity that you were born to do will never come (laughs) will never come when you're not doing anything, True. like it is only in the action of doing something that the right opportunity or the opportunity that you were born to do will then come along mm-hmm. and not just doing something, going all in on something like you may have a job right now that you hate and you may think, well, you know, I'm just going to start learning a bunch of stuff and I'm going to kind of slack off here and wait until the right opportunity comes along. But the right opportunity opportunity will never come along unless you're going all in on your current opportunity Mm -hmm. and this really you could call that karma um oh solomon said it he said he said he didn't say if you like what you're doing (laughs) he said he purportedly was the wisest man who ever lived yeah i don't know possibly he was if the stories are true um he said whatever your hand finds to do Mm -hmm. do it with all your might yeah do it with all your might like it's in the doing where you get to apply the knowledge and 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 then that's when it become it goes from just knowledge to learning mm-hmm. right you you develop and that's where skills come from and and so and there's another aspect of this idea of just do something that I think is important to address and that is you know, we've all had those days where we woke up and there was so much stuff to do they didn't do anything. Yeah. And sometimes Paralysis. there's those times where you feel like I don't really have much to do and you get some stuff done. But when you have so much to do and so many different things going on that you end up doing absolutely nothing. Like mm-hmm. I've been in that paralyzing, you know, position where you're like, man, I gotta do this, I gotta get this done, I gotta get this done. I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like it, it's just you feel you feel like there's so much piled up that you can't even start to chip away. But the reality is progress one day at a time, progress one step at a time, slow progress is still progress. It's this idea of just do something. Just every single day do something that's moving you in the right direction. Do something that's moving you towards your goal. And when you think you've got everything to do, just starting by doing something and then building upon that something and right. then building upon that something. And next thing you know, you turn around and you've done everything. Yeah. It's my, and a lot of people are talking about micro actions these yeah. days and, yeah, yeah. and the different books we're reading. And we had Dan Walshmit was talking about that, mm-hmm. which was, which was really incredible. And, but, but a lot of people get that paralysis of analysis. Yeah. I can literally remember being in a sales job and knowing I, have to sell Mm -hmm. or I will not be able to pay this bill for my family. And I remember after lunch sitting in a parking lot and taking a two hour nap. Mm -hmm. I've done that before. It's, it's how could that even 
I wasn't applying anything. Mm-hmm. I wasn't earning the money that I had to have. Like it's yeah. it's insanity, mm-hmm. and and what I just expected, like. And, and P, a lot of times you hear this, especially down here in the South, people go, well, I'm waiting, I'm waiting on God, or I've prayed about that and, and whatever. Mm-hmm. And, and I, I just want to look at him and go, when's, when's the last time you saw him move a parked car? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. like you may have all the head knowledge in the world that your suburban sitting outside can get you home today. Mm-hmm. I promise you, if you didn't put gas in it, <laughs> if you didn't have keys, mm-hmm. if you didn't stick them in the ignition and turn it on, your working knowledge of the car Mm -hmm. would never translate into you getting to your house today. Yeah. You could call an Uber. (laughs) (laughs) And then somebody else is taking you. Mm -hmm. But do you see how that, like, like a lot of people just skip this in, in, in life. They're, they're not willing to, to pay the price of hard work, not for what it gets you, but from who you become. And when you become, the person who worked hard there all the while learning and growing internally you become a different person and that person is the one that deserves yep and that will get whatever your hopes and dreams are that's that's how it works and to your point there are there are a lot of people out there that they are in a situation right now where they feel like they are waiting on god and i would just tell you that what if god's waiting on you and what if there's two sides to the coin and that if you take one step, maybe the next step will be laid out in front of you. And then if you take another step, maybe the next step will seem more clear. Mm-hmm. And if you take another step, then all of a sudden you start to see a path down the road. But until you take that first step, until you show the initiative and you put in the effort and you start putting in action, why would you expect anything to right. just happen? Right. Yeah. But that's what we do. We you know, it's the eternal hope of the human spirit and allows us to go through some really tough times and hope for a better future. But a lot of times it's a trap too. We, that, that same hope, um, that I could literally go take a nap in my car and hope my bill is going to get paid. (laughs) How, how foolish, Mm -hmm. how foolish. And, and neither Tyler nor I are discounting your faith or your belief in God. I just believe that in the term miracle worker, people are looking for the miracle. They're just not willing to be the worker. And see, you know, Jeff and Nathan and I early on, um, when when we would be talking about something and what we wanted to accomplish, you know, if somebody ever said, you know, well, let's, let's pray about that, um, you know, it became cliche and funny to us because we would go, well, you pray like it's up to him and we're gonna work like he doesn't exist. Mm-hmm. Because I think that the miracle or luck or whatever you want to call it, I don't care what you call it, but I think it only shows up at the end of your effort. Mm -hmm. When you throw yourself into whatever your cause is, whatever you want to accomplish, whatever you want to do, when you put your actions into there and you've done all you can do, it's almost like God, the universe, a crazy open door, it's almost like it just opens up before you. Mm. And people are like, God, Tyler, you're so lucky. It's like, no, 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 no. He spent, what, 200 something nights in a hotel and he was selling and, and doing this. He was the, he was, he went and did something. Yeah. Right? That's, that's big because it, it is that is, is the miracle is on the other side of yourself, but you have to get to the end mm-hmm. for, that remaining gap of where you want to go and for God to take over and right. be able to provide. But until you've done absolutely everything you can do, how on earth would you feel you deserve the, the added boost on the end? And that's what, you know, you've talked about often. We talk about with our organization is we set these huge <clears throat> gigantic goals with the intention of people to be able to look back and say, well, God's hand was obviously in this because there's no way they could have done this on their own. But we're going to do everything in our possi- possible you know, abilities to get as far as we can go. Mm-hmm. So it's not saying, hey, God's hand's going to be in this. And so we just kind of take it, take a mm-hmm. you know, back seat and, and, and let God take over. No, it's like God's hand is going to be in this. So we're going to take it absolutely as far as our human capability and see what happens after that. 
and see all those doors that are open or things that happen to where it's the above and beyond anything that we thought we could do yeah. is accomplished and looking back on it and, and feeling as though you actually earned it. Yeah. Uh, that's the important thing. If you look at it like a timeline, right? So let's just say I had a goal of making, you know, $500,000 a year. I had a goal. And, and this is the timeline or this is where I would make that $500,000 a year. The end of my ability is here at about 300. I'm just coming up for example's sake. This 500's already done. God, the universe, I don't care what anybody calls it. This, I was born with, the, with, with, like he already said, okay, you can, you can have whatever you want on this earth, right? And, and, and this is already done. I just had to get to here and become, get to the end of myself before he said, okay, now here's where I begin. And, and this is how this works. And then that's when the, in the doing that you actually, he, he'll finish the rest of the way. Once you, once you've finished and done everything you can, it's, it's like I was saying, the universe opens the door to walk you in the rest of the way, but it was in that doing that you actually became the person that deserve that mm -hmm. you became the person in the doing you the all the knowledge went from your head to your heart and it's it's fascinating it's hard to explain but it's it's and there would be no there would be no reason for faith to exist none if you were just given everything that you wanted yeah and there was no effort on your part then there would be no scenario where you had to do something and expect okay i've done all that i can do and have the faith that the rest will be done for you. If it was just done for you from the beginning, there would be no reason that faith faith wouldn't exist at that point. Yep. It's interesting. It would. That's interesting. Well, this one was kind of deep. <laughs> this wasn't exactly where we were going to go in the beginning. <laughs> so this is a real simple one. This is a real this is a real simple one. A and, simply and deep we, one. We muddied the waters we for you. Really yeah. muddied. But no, anyway. for the person that's <laughs> listening to this, watching this, if you find yourself in that position where you you're thinking about the opportunity that you're waiting for or the circumstances that you're waiting for to then start doing our encouragement to you is just start doing in the situation and the circumstances will appear and i know that sounds hokey and it sounds kind of like you know of course they're going to say that well yeah of course we're going to say it because we've seen it in our lives we've seen it in the lives of hundreds and hundreds of people and it wasn't until the work started that the miracles started happening. And it wasn't until the work started that the opportunities started showing up. The opportunities didn't show up and then the work started. And, um, and so like just do something. <laughs> it's like you're at the beginning of a thousand mile journey. Mm -hmm. And you can see all the way there and there's a top of a mountaintop. And I go, Tyler, we'll get to the top of that mountaintop. Mm -hmm. We don't know the path, but I can promise you this, figure it out. We don't have to know the how, mm -hmm. we just have to know why and where we're going mm -hmm. if you know why and where you're going and then you set out on the journey will there be setbacks mm -hmm. yeah will we face opposition sure when we get to the base of that mountain might there be a cliff that we would have no idea had we seen the cliff from back here we might not would have started because mm -hmm. we'd be like how do we how do we get i'm gonna have to spreadsheet that cliff yeah. i'm gonna have to spreadsheet it and know it inside and out every which way the how is not up to you but once you got to the bottom of the cliff you look back and you come too far to stop now mm -hmm. you've come too far to stop now so then you start searching and then you find the crevice where you can inch your way up and you get to the next point and you and you keep moving from point to point you know why and where you're going you don't have to know how mm -hmm. how will show up it's interesting. It's almost like if you knew what it was going to take to get there, you wouldn't do it. Right. So you you're you're saying you want to know, but you don't really want to. You really don't want to know. <laughs> so just do something. So just do <laughs> something. Do something. All right, guys. This is episode 120 of the Sales Wolves podcast. As always, I'm your host Tyler Harris, Joseph Caldwell, and we are the Sales Wolves. Ow! Oh.